Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about enabling trim on a Mac uh, when you're running a third party solid state hard drive. Typically, you would use Trim Enabler to do this, but now with Yosemite 10.10.4, you can do this natively within the system. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Apple symbol and about this Mac, and then choose System Report and Serial ATA. And we look up here at the Serial ATA device tree, and I'm going to choose my solid state hard drive, which is a Samsung 850 Evo. And if we look down here in the specs, we'll see trim support says no. So we'll close this. And then to enable trim support, we'll need to open a terminal. So I'll type command space, that'll open up my spotlight search, and I'll just type in terminal. You can also just double click on the terminal application. Uh, that'll bring up our terminal. And the command we're going to use is called TrimForce. So if we type in TrimForce help, that'll tell us the uh, different commands we can uh, pass to TrimForce. We have enable, disable, and help. To run this, we need to use sudo, though, because we need root privileges. So we'll type in sudo space TrimForce space enable, and we'll hit enter. We'll type in our password, and it will bring up this... Uh, message here telling us uh, uh, you know what we're doing you know the uh, legal stuff uh, this probably would work on newer um, SSDs I don't know about older ones but the important thing when you're dealing with this kind of stuff is that you back up because you could screw things up so if you're not backed up don't do this if you're nervous it's gonna wipe your stuff out don't do this um, if you feel risky go ahead and do it so I'm gonna hit yes and enter it says your system will immediately reboot when this is complete. So I'm going to stop the screen recording, reboot, restart the screen recording, and then we'll check to make sure that trim was enabled. Okay, the system is rebooted, and you can see the terminal screen is still up. Uh, after I stopped the screen recording, uh, it said enabling trim, and operation succeeded. Your system will reboot momentarily. Please wait. After this message uh, came up on the terminal, it was, I don't know, a minute or two maybe before it rebooted, so it took a few seconds uh, for that to happen. Now if we go back up to our Apple uh, menu up here and about this Mac, go to System Report, Serial ATA, we'll choose the solid state hard drive, and if we go down here to Trim Support, we'll see it says yes now. So uh, this is a native way to enable trim on a Mac, and uh, like I said before, do this at your own risk. You could uh, definitely screw something up doing this, but uh, it seems to work pretty good. So. Well, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you want to see more of my videos, please check out my channel and please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.